In this video, I'm going to go over a few of the thermal energy transfer equations. Let's look at the variables first. P is going to be the rate of energy transfer in watts. Q is just that energy that's going to be transferred. That'll be in joules. Change in time, that delta sign T indicates a change in time in seconds. We are using seconds because most of the time our constant, that K value, thermal conductivity constant, is going to be in joules per second meter degree Celsius. So in order to cancel out any of our units, then we're going to have to look at that K value first. And most of the time, like I said, that time is going to be in seconds. The thermal conductivity constant can usually be looked up on a table for most of the common uh, materials that you might be using. It is a unique number. I'm sure a lot of you have already learned about density. That is a unique number to whatever material. This is the same concept. Somebody in the lab has already gotten these values for us. And this value is going to tell us what the ability of that material has to conduct heat. The next thing in these equations is going to be the area. If you really think about it, obviously that's going to have to do with how much energy is going to be transmitted through, is how large of an area is that that it's going through, as well as L being the thickness of the material. So what, how large is this object? Then you've got your delta T, which delta indicates a change in. So just what is that change in temperature that we're looking at? So we'll do this example problem. Calculate the energy transfer in a wall section measuring 2 meters by 1 meter by 0 0.04 meters thick with a thermal conductivity of 0 0.10 joules per second meter degree Celsius. Opposing sides of the wall section have a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius and 5 degrees Celsius after one hour. So we're going to list all of our knowns. We've got the area as 2 meters squared. We've got the thermal conductivity that was given in the problem. We've got our thickness of material, which is 0 0.04 meters. Uh, notice all of these are in meters. Some of your practice problems will not be, so you're going to need to remember to convert anything that doesn't match that K constant. Um, your difference in your temperature is just going to be 5 degrees Celsius, and then the change in time. Notice we did have to convert our one hour to seconds, so that is 3,600 seconds. All right, so step two, it's talking about listing those unknowns, but we really don't have two unknowns here if we put our two equations together, uh, combine it, and make one equation. When you work any of these practice problems, you're going to be using this uh, equation that you see on step five. You won't be using the, the top two equations. Okay, so now, looking at this, we've got our equation. We have all of our knowns. We're just plugging them in. Our K is uh, that constant, 0 0.10 joules per uh, second meter degree Celsius. We've got our area. Uh, which is 2 meters squared, our temperature change, which is 5 degrees Celsius, our depth or that um, you know, distance of the thickness is 0 0.04 meters, and then multiply by our time, it's going to give us 90,000 joules. Okay, when you're trying to figure out if you're going to use this equation or maybe another one, one of the key things that you'll notice in your uh, problem is that you're going to have a time given to you. And so a lot of times this is the equation you're going to use uh, when you see that uh, time given.